Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lee J, and we're going to listen to some music today. Before we get started, make sure to hit all those important buttons. You know, you know the ones. Here we go. Headphones. Check. Check. Mm. Okay, so today we're going to check out this song called Dear Rappers by T Mr. Tom McDonald. I did my first reaction to Tom McDonald, which I posted yesterday, and we're going to do another one today. Um, just a note to myself, I think I really, like, I need to hyper, hyper pay attention because he says a lot in a very, very short amount of time. And not just a lot of, you know, nonsensical talk, which probably is why I tune out to some lyrics. I just, you know, the lyrics really have very little meaning. Um, but I really need to pay attention when I listen to Mr. Tom McDonald. Okay, here we go. Dear Rappers. Man, it's easy for these rappers who have it all Talk about the days when they used to be sad I guess I can't relate to being famous and wealthy I'm 28 and still praying for the day I have a chance Maybe y'all can help me out though I'm just trying to take care of my household I don't even want to make my mouth go I just want to win before the system that I'm in Gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold Dear rappers, can you help me? I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought I got every single CD that you ever fucking dropped I spent everything I had and I never had a lot Oh my god, what a mess Your words help me deal with the stress Seems to contemplate my suicide the nights I was depressed Used to pop you in a boombox and sit up on my desk Listen to your music till I felt it in my chest, but Whoa, okay, already I feel like I need to look up the lyrics Because there is so much happening I love how he changes the tone of his voice That is very cool it does remind me a little bit of Eminem, like old school Eminem. I'm starting over because there's so much happening in these lyrics already. Okay, here we go. Man, it's easy for these rappers who have it all Talk about the days when they used to be sad I guess I can't relate to being famous and wealthy I'm 28 and still praying for the day I have a chance Maybe y'all can help me out though I'm just trying to take care of my household I don't even want to make my mouth go I just want to win before the system that I'm in Gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold Okay, so I have to admit I cheated I looked at the lyrics online because it happens so fast I didn't want to miss anything um, but clearly, he, you know what, let me just flash over here. It's so funny that he's saying he can't relate to being famous and wealthy, where, you know, I definitely see him as a force to be reckoned with. He, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, if I, correct me if I'm wrong, I saw a interview with him and Ben Shapiro, so he clearly is you know making a name for himself like ben shapiro doesn't just interview anybody let's go back to the song my chin until i'm out cold dear rappers can you help me i'll even take a selfie with your album that i bought i got every single cd that you ever fucking dropped i spent everything i had and i never had a lot oh my god what a mess your words help me deal with the stress used to contemplate my suicide the nights i was depressed used to pop you in a boom box and sit up on my desk listen to your music till i felt it in my chest but these days it's like you don't have nothing left your music feels kind of like you're trying to write a check everything is digital i mean no disrespect but i'm paying even more and you give me even less what the fuck you taught me to think you taught me to grow you taught me to think to survive on my own but now you teach me to drink you teach me to smoke you teach me to think every woman's a hoe i don't want your Xanax bar okay okay i hope i don't sound like an airhead but i am trying to figure out like what role he is like what perspective he's singing from like is he singing to the rapper is he the fan is he um yeah just like if he's the artist or if he's the fan in the storyline. I appreciate this perspective from a fan of, like, your music is so important to me. It's, like, so deep inside of my soul, like, my brain. And I've learned so much from you. But now some of the lessons that I've learned are not, like, they're just not helpful to me. Is that what he's saying? Let me just, let me look. Because I don't want to, you know, I want to make sure that I respect his craft and his lyrics and that I'm getting it somewhat right. Okay, 
Dear rappers, can you help me? I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought. I got every single CD that you ever mm -hmm. dropped. I spent everything I had, and I never have a lot. Oh my god, what a mess. Your words help me deal with the stress. I mean, who hasn't been there as a fan, you know, as a listener, where you're going through some very, very dark nights, and you're so grateful that there's somebody out there who is who understands you, who's speaking for you, and and they've been through it, and they clearly made it through it, like they made it through that experience to be able to write about it. Um, oh, I see. Okay, so it sounds like this fan is now saying, I used to connect with your music, but now, but now it sounds like, it sounds like you're just making music for the money and no longer for the connection. Everything is digital. I mean, no disrespect. You know what? I agree with that. You can do so much with MIDI, but nothing compares to just a God-given instrument, which is, you know, I think the purest form of a God-given instrument is the human voice. Okay. Um, let's see. Paying even more. Yeah. You taught me to think. You taught me to grow. You taught me the things to survive on my own. But now you teach me to drink, you teach me to smoke, you teach me to think every woman's a... Bars. Yeah, I mean, every reason that he's listing right here in like these last few lines are reasons why I don't really listen to la rap that much anymore. Um, just the messaging doesn't really connect with my soul or who I want to be. So I... I totally understand where he's coming from. Okay, let's keep going. Actually, let's go back just a smidge. I hope you all don't mind that I'm skipping between the video and the lyrics. He's just, I mean, he's just like rapping so fast. I want to catch everything. And I feel like I would have to listen to this multiple, multiple times before I really caught all the nuances. And even then I'll probably miss stuff. So here we go. Own, but now you teach me to drink, you teach me to smoke, you teach me to think, every woman's a hoe. I don't want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art. No, 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 yeah. no, just a drug addict. TV. I can't hear another fucking song about abusing medication that I had to take just to stay alive. There's more important shit than what you wear and where you live and who you fucking, what you drink and what you spend and what you drive. Rappers full of bullshit. Rappers just a marketing vehicle for the product that the man wants you to buy. Rap about a full clip. Rappers just promoting different liquors and varieties of ways that you could die. Yeah. Dear rappers, can you help me? Are you mm. Oh my god. Okay. Let me just process. Let me just process everything. As an artist, your art form, your craft is communicating like your feelings, your observations through your, you know, your music, your lyrics. Um, and again, I totally agree with him. There's so much more to life than just the cars we drive you know, the house we live in, the people that we are, or, you know, that rappers are dating or sleeping with. Um, it all, it all hits at like such an ego level, right? It's very, it looks really great from the outside. Like you can package all of that and it's all shiny and it's so glamorous, but there's so, there is so much more to life than that, you know? People are so much deeper than that. And um, yeah, that he doesn't just want to be sold this image. You know what? I'm not going to look at the lyrics right now. We can look later. Yeah. Dear rappers, can you help me? Are you almost out of alcohol to sell me? Tell me, cause drinking every night can be the way to getting wealthy. If I'm really being honest, all the shit is overwhelming. I need someone to look up to. You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump. You're living in a country where police are killing people every day and all you want to talk about is doing drugs. You've been blinded by the money. You've been blinded by the cars. You've been blinded by the women. Don't know who the fuck you are. Thought I Wait, hold on. I do need to look at the lyrics again. 
Because drinking every night can be the way to getting wealthy. If I'm really being honest, all this is overwhelming. I need someone to look up to. You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump. You're living in a country where police are killing people every day and all you want to talk about is doing drugs. Wow. Yeah, he went there. Well, you know, he brings up a really interesting point that he's looking to another human to look up to when inherently we're all flawed, right? Like if I if I idolize an artist or you know, a friend, even like my own parents, at some point they're going to make a mistake. And this person that I've been looking up to is going to fall from this um, pedestal that I've been putting them on. So it makes sense why it makes sense why we may feel disappointed when we put just humans on a pedestal, right? Interesting. Okay. You've been blinded by the money, you've been blinded by the cars, you've been blinded by the women, don't know who you are. You know what? I'm just going to keep going. There's someone mowing the lawn. Hopefully it won't bleed too much into the audio. Okay, let's go back a little bit. And you know, I do find reacting to Tom McDonald very interesting. He definitely writes about issues that people are afraid to talk about. And, uh, but we live in a country where we can talk about these things and we won't suddenly go missing. When drugs, you've been blinded by the money, you've been blinded by the cars, you've been blinded by the women, don't know who the fuck you are. Thought I knew you when I spent a hundred dollars on a ticket to your show, and now I feel like you stole my fucking money and I'm broke. Man, you taught us how to rap, and you taught us how to dress, and you taught us how to act if we wanted to impress. Now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would. What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them I inside the hood. Your Xanax bars, all your fancy foreign cars, though your mind. Wait, hold on. We gotta go back a second, because I got focused on the beat and like those the two notes that I kept hearing go back and forth and I was wondering who does the production to his music so let me know in the comments does he do the production does he have a producer he works with a lot like who's doing his beats money and I'm broke man he taught us how to rap and you taught us how to dress and you taught us how to act if we wanted to impress now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would what you're preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood your bars, all your friends. you know Music is so powerful like that. I don't think we are quite even aware of the messages that music can like imprint into our subconscious. So it is very powerful that he brings that up. Back to the video. Let me go back a little bit more. To impress, now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would. What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood. Your Xanax bars, all your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art. No, 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 no. Just a drug addict, don't I don't want your Xanax bars, all your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face. And try to tell me that it's art No, 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 no No, 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 no. Just a drug addict on TV yeah. hmm. Wow, interesting question i have no idea what the xanax bar is is that like a giant thing of xanax i know i sound very 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 naive maybe a bit ignorant right now but i have no idea you know i'm gonna go back to these lyrics i don't want your xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art I'm just a drug addict on tv okay I think I missed this in the first chorus, but it reads as if he's saying that these rappers that he sees on TV 
So it sounds like he's saying that what they're rapping about is hurting the, the community and hurting the listeners more than it's helping them. And that um, what they're promoting are, yeah, just drugs, all the shallow things in life. And that he sees some of these rappers as just drug addicts on TV. Let me know if that's the same message that you got, because that's the message that I'm getting. And um, this line, throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art. That is always, always something that I find interesting, like how, how and what we define as art. You know, if the message, if, if what he's saying is, I don't want this like shallow, meaningless uh, music and lyrics, then I totally get where he is coming from. I totally, totally get it. On the flip side, what I find interesting about music like that is that it does touch upon different parts of like the human psyche. And it sounds like Tom McDonald is, is at a different stage in his life and he finds meaning, um, he just finds meaning in a different form of art and a different, it just sounds like he has different values. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this reaction, like what I've missed, the points that you agree with, the points that you don't agree with. There is clearly a lot of, there's clearly a lot of just bold honesty in his lyrics and you know, I, I really appreciate that. I really respect that. On that note, I hope you enjoyed this reaction video and the time we spent together today. If there's anything you want me to know about Tom McDonald or about the song, then definitely leave it in the comments below. If you have another like song suggestion or another artist you want me to check out, let me know. And... Anything else? Gosh, I really hope that lawnmower didn't bleed too much into the audio, but you know, this is real life. This is real life. Gotta roll with the punches. Okay, stay healthy, be blessed, and until next time. I've been looking for God in a child. Always looking out for God Cause God only knows how much it hurts You can't say my heart You can't say the darkest parts of me And I am free Looking for love in a bed